In today's video, I want to show you the WP Show Post plugin and how you can use this plugin to display your seriously simple podcasting custom post type podcast posts on any page or post on your WordPress website. Uh, fair warning, this plugin is a little bit more advanced than your typical Gutenberg block or short code that we've shown uh, with Seriously Simple Podcasting. This is not a plugin that we create. It is a plugin to what's known as query custom post types and posts and pages within your WordPress database and then display it onto any page or post on your WordPress website. So some of the features are really technical and much more developer focused, but it's going to get the job done. And depending on your theme, it's either going to look great or you're going to need to make some adjustments to your theme. And you'll see that actually uh, in a moment when I show you how this works. So WP Show Post plugin uh, to install and activate it. It's very easy. We'll go to add new plugins and we'll type WP Show Posts. Hit enter. You'll search your WordPress repository. I already have it installed, obviously, but this is what the icon looks like just in case you're looking for it. WP Show Posts, 80,000 active installs. I already have it installed and activated, and that's all you have to do is hit install and then activate. And once you do that, the WP Show Posts menu item is there. We're going to go and take a look. Obviously, there's nothing there right now, but we're going to add a new one. So click on Add New. And we'll have to give our uh, show post a name. We'll just call this All Podcasts Episodes. And effectively, what this plugin is going to do is create what's known as a WordPress query. In other words, it's going into the database of your WordPress website and saying, hey, find these particular things that I'm searching for and help me display them in a column sort of uh, uh, look and feel, a column view, if you will. And it's going to create a short code, which you can see right here, which allows you to paste, copy paste into any page or post of your WordPress website. Short codes, you might have heard me explain this in other videos. It's just a fancy way for WordPress to give you this clean looking line of text instead of a whole bunch of code uh, to present this this content, okay? So we've named our WP Show Posts All Podcast Episodes, and then we have to declare what we're searching for. Again, some of the stuff is technical, some of the stuff we're gonna pass over because we only want it to work for our podcasts, okay? Post type, we don't want posts because in this case, we're in on this website, it's posts are our blog posts, pages are our pages. What we want is our podcast, and that's our custom post type that Seriously Simple Podcast uh, sets up for us. So when we use Seriously Simple Podcasting by default, it's creating a custom post type called podcast, and we uh, add our episodes there. So in this case, that's what we want. We want our podcast. And then we're going to say 10 per page, just to leave it clean for now. And then I'm going to turn on pagination. You'll see why in a moment. But pagination allows us to, once we get to an end of a page, if there's more than 10, a user can click on to the next page to see uh, the remaining episodes. Columns. Columns allows us to display our podcast episodes in columns, as you can see. So we have an option of between one and five columns. I'm going to set it to four, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. And also, the default Gutenberg block that our Seriously Simple Podcast plugin creates for you, or if you use the Seriously Simple Podcasting shortcode, we just give it to you in one column. Really clean, uh, clean really easy, you know, works with 99% of the themes. Columns introduces something a little bit more technical, and you'll see why in a moment, but it allows you to add some of that, you know, design flexibility. You want it to look a little bit different. So we're going to select four columns. Go to images. Images are the featured images that are attached to our podcast. Uh, featured images are for either our podcast custom post types or our blog uh, images as well. If you're very familiar with featured images. So you want to either display or not display those images. I'm going to say yes. So we'll leave that checked off. And then you have the option to put that image either above or below the title. So we'll just say above the title for now just to change it up for you and see that. Uh, content, content type, you can either show the excerpt, the full amount of the content, or none. This is the content that's in an individual podcast episode, the body of your WordPress editor. We'll leave it at excerpt, but you can already tell maybe if you've used our block or our short code before, this is what we don't include, right? You, we, you don't have the option to really show either the excerpt full or none. It's either excerpt or none. Um, so you're a little bit more customization here, and you can 
change the length of the excerpt if you wanted. Again, we don't do that in the short code or the Gutenberg block. So we'll leave it at excerpt. We'll include the title, obviously, because we want to see the title of our posts. And then we're going to leave everything else the same. As you can see, once you get into the more settings, you can order by ascending or descending, order by date, uh, order by you know, um, when it was last modified, that kind of thing. You can get really, really detailed, really, really granular with this. But a lot of this stuff might be a little bit too technical. So recap super quick. We're going to say we want to show all of our podcast posts. We want to paginate that. So when somebody gets to the end of our list of 10, they can go on to the next four columns, show us the featured images, and we'll do the content type excerpt. I'm going to hit publish, publish. And we'll copy this short code right here. So we'll copy that. We'll go to a new page. Uh, we'll just say podcasts. That's all I'm going to call it. That's about as creative as I'm going to get with that title. And then we're going to paste in our short code. Hit publish. Publish one more time. And then we'll view the page. Now, remember, I selected four columns. So keep that in the back of your mind. Uh, but you can see here, okay, here's all of our podcasts that we're looking for. Here's the pagination at the end. There's 10 posts here. And you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, it doesn't look 100% correct. Uh, it's a little squished, and it's not four columns. And that is because, in this particular theme, I'm using the Astro theme, by default, on the right-hand side, uh, there's a, a, a column or a gap for WordPress widgets. In other words, the content of our page is only this wide. It's only as wide as you see it here. So instead of showing four columns, it's only showing three. And this is where this plugin is really going to depend on your WordPress theme. Yes, it's very powerful. Yes, you can make that really fine tuned query for your uh, podcast posts. But when you display it, you have to consider your theme. So you might have to nudge some things around in order to get it to look uh, 100% the way that you want it to. Luckily, the Astra theme, let's go ahead and go back to edit the page. The Astra theme, even the free Astra theme, allows us to customize uh, some of our, uh, our layout of our post and our page. So what I'm going to do is go into the sidebar section and say no sidebars, and then go into the... Uh, content layout and go full width contained. Hit update, preview. Now every WordPress theme is going to have different options. I'm using the Astra theme, which might largely be uh, something that you're not using uh, and have some different features that your theme doesn't have. But generally modern themes have the ability to change a, post, a page template and even disable and enable the sidebars. Okay, now you can see the podcast page looks a whole heck of a lot better. We have the four columns. Everything is readable. It's not squished together. Um, and you can see that we have the featured images on the top above the title. And then, our, of course, our title and our excerpts all right here on this one page. And then we can always paginate to go to the next page. So just to prove the power of this, what I'm going to do one more time is close this. Um, let's go ahead and open this page in its own tab so that okay here it is here now you can see the sort of the the staying power let me hit update here let me show you some of the staying power of using the wp show posts um plugin here's our query all podcast episodes we'll hit edit and this is what makes it really interesting because now you can kind of control this display through this one area so i can go to columns two if i wanted and then we'll put the images uh, below the title, just so you can kind of see it change. Hit update. Refresh. And there it is. Now, instead of four columns, we're down to two. So you can see that's a pretty dramatic change. And then putting the title above the featured image. So you can see that it's a, there's some really uh, granular control here. And you could create multiple WP show post queries and put these on many pages across your WordPress website. So if you want one sort of um, collection of podcasts to look one way, then you'd create that here, two columns, four columns, etc., and then take their unique short codes and put them onto any page or post on your WordPress website. So we took those seriously simple podcast custom post types, which are all right here. We queried them with WP show post plugin, and then we displayed them using that short code. That's how you do 
that <laughs> with the WP Show Post plugin. I hope you found today's video educational. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want more stuff about podcasting, seriously simple podcasting, Castos, don't forget to join our free academy, academy.castos.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.